And so this motivates like a quote unquote isomorphism between D3 and S3. So now let's define C going from D3 to S3 as follows. So we'll take the identity to where? Where does the identity always have to go? To itself. So one. Yeah. Yeah, good. yeah, 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 good. yeah, 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 yeah. And then where does R get sent? Under kind of our motivating picture up there, R must be sent to? One, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three. And then where does R squared get sent? Yeah, one, two, three squared, because it has to be sent to this squared by the fact that it's an isomorphism, right? So one, three, two, which is just for the sake of getting all the details in there, one, two, three squared. And then where does S have to be sent? Yeah, one, two. Based off of our picture, does SR have to go? So two, three. And then SR squared, that's the last element of D3, right? Rotations, then reflections. So look, we've only got one element left of S3, right? And it's one, three. Then how do you check it's an isomorphism? Well, you have to check that like uh, the group law like moves around the way that it should. So let's do phi of R times phi of S. So that's gonna be equal to one, two, three times one, two. But then what's the product of these two cycles? So one gets sent to two, two, oh, two gets sent to three. So one in the end gets sent to three. But then what's one, three? One, three is SR squared, right? So this is phi of SR squared, which in turn is equal to phi of RS based off of the dihedral group rule, right? Yeah, recall that the kind of defining characteristic of the dihedral group, D3, is that it's generated by uh, R and S, and then R cubed is equal to S squared, which is equal to the identity, and then RS equals SR squared. Right, that, those two, three conditions really, those conditions define the dihedral group. But like, check it out, this is what we need, right? It's definitely a, a, an example of it having this isomorphism characteristic, this fact that, like, look, you can smush these two functions together and you get multiplication inside, right?